Welcome to this React Diagram tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to add and customize connectors in the Syncfusion React Diagram component. I will explain the types of connectors and how to add annotations, styles, and decorators to a connector. First, I open my existing React application, where I have added a diagram component with flow shape nodes. To learn more about integrating the diagram component into a React application, please check the Getting Started video linked in the card above and in the description below. Let me run this application using the command npm start. The diagram canvas is rendered with nodes with the specified shape types. Now I will show you how to add connectors to the diagram component. I can add connectors using a connector collection by drawing a connector on the designer canvas or using the symbol palette. Loading connectors from the symbol palette is explained in my previous video. First, I will connect the first and second node using the connectors property. In the diagram component tag, Bind the connector's property with a value. I define the connector's variable of type connector model and assign a collection of objects. I import the connector model interface from the EJ2 React Diagrams package. Inside this array, define the ID property and set the value to start to process connector and define the source ID property with a value start node. Then set the target ID value to process node. You can see the connector, connecting, start node, and process node. Next, let me show you how to connect process node and decision node dynamically at runtime. In the diagram component, add the ref attribute and assign a value. This is done to access the diagram instance at runtime. To create an instance, I declare the diagram object variable using the useRef hook. To use this hook, I import it from the React package. I define the use effect hook, which is also imported from the React package. The use effect hook will run every time whenever the particular React component is updated or changed. So I use it to add a connector when the application is refreshed. Using the diagram object, invoke the add connector method by passing an object that contains the properties ID, source ID with value process node and target ID with value decision node. In the diagram canvas, you can see the connector for the process and decision nodes. Next, I'll show you how to draw a connector on the diagram canvas. I want to enable the drawing tool once a button is clicked. First, I install the button package to add the button. It is available in the Syncfusion EJ2 React buttons. The installation is now complete. I import the button component from the EJ2 React buttons package. Add a division tag above the diagram component and set a class name to style the button. Within it, add the button component and set the content as draw connector. Set a CSS class name for alignment and add an on click event and assign an event handler. Implement the draw connector method. Within it, use the diagram objects tool property and assign the diagram tools draw one cnum value to it. This way you can draw the connector once. I can also set the continuous draw option to draw more than one connector at a time. 
Since I will be drawing only one connector, I change back to draw once. Notice that the Diagram Tools module is added in the import statement from this Infusion EJ2 React Diagrams package. To draw connectors, you need to define the connector type. Add the drawing object property and set an ID. Next, add the type property for the connector. You can set straight, orthogonal, bezier, polyline, or freehand connector types. A straight connector will be two points without any curves or angles, suitable for clear and simple connections. This connector consists of horizontal and vertical segments forming right angles, ideal for creating organized diagrams with precise alignment. A bezier connector has a smooth curve connecting two points, defined by control handles to adjust the curve shape, commonly used for creating flowing connections between elements. A polyline connector is a series of connected straight line segments allowing for multiple bends and angles, useful for illustrating pathways or routes with flexibility. A freehand connector is a connector drawn freehand allowing for more organic and irregular shapes often employed for casual or artistic diagrams where precision is less important. Both polyline and freehand types can be drawn only using the drawing tool and cannot be rendered programmatically. In this flowchart, you need a straight connector to connect the decision node and end node. I navigate to the app CSS file, import the EJ2 React button styles, Add the container class and the line left. Also add the margin to the top and bottom. Add the button class and set a margin towards right. You can see the draw connector button. Click it. When you move the mouse into the diagram canvas, you can see the drawing tool. Now you can draw a straight connector once to connect the decision node and end node. You can add annotations to the connector at runtime by double clicking on the connector. You can also select the connector and press the F2 key on the keyboard to add or edit the annotations. To add annotations programmatically in the connectors collection, first add a new connector object with an ID, source ID, and target ID. Add the property annotations and set an array. You can add one or more annotations. Here, I need only one annotation, so I add only one object. Within the object, add the content property and set the value yes. Set the style with the fill property so that the background of the content will be white. In the diagram canvas, you can see the connector with the provided annotations and a white background. Next, you need to connect the decision node and process node when the condition is false. To do so, add a new connector, set its source ID to decision node, and target ID to process node. You can see the default straight arrow connector that overlaps with the existing one. To avoid this, you need to add the connector type, segments, and ports. First, in the connector object, set the type as orthogonal, define the segments property, and set its type as orthogonal. The direction to right and length to 50. This will create an orthogonal segment. You can see the orthogonal segment is created, but still the connecting point is not in the right position. I can fix this problem by adding ports to the nodes. Define a ports variable. Assign an array of objects. Define an ID property and set it to right mid port. Set the offset values for X to 1 and Y to 0.5. This will create a port in the right side middle position of the node. 
I will explain more about ports in my upcoming videos. In the process node, define the ports property with the created ports variable. Do the same for the decision node. To connect these two ports, in the decision to process connector object, define the target port ID with the created port ID. Similarly, assign the source port ID with the created port ID. Now you can see the orthogonal connector connecting the two nodes via the two newly defined ports. Next, I'll show you how to connect the same nodes using a Bezier type connector. In the connector object, change the type to Bezier. Within the segments, change the type to Bezier and remove the direction and length properties since they are not applicable for Bezier type. To create a smooth bend in a Bezier curve, you need to add two points. So, add point 1 property and set the X and Y values. Similarly, add the point 2 property. Now these two points will act as the control handles to adjust the curve shape. You can see the Bezier connector connecting the two nodes via the defined ports and via the point 1 and point 2 values. If you want to sketch out ideas without worrying about precision or adherence to strict shapes, you can use the free hand tool to enable it. In the drawing object, set the type to freehand. Click the draw connector button to draw any desired shape using the freehand tool. Similarly, to draw a polyline in the drawing object type, set the value to polyline. Click the button to draw a series of connected straight line segments, allowing for multiple bends and angles. Useful for illustrating pathways or routes. Next, I'll explain how to customize the connectors. To customize the color of the connector, in the start to process connector, add the style property. Set the stroke color property with the color orange, and set the stroke width to 5. You can see the connector is orange with a new stroke width. To customize the style dynamically, you need to change the connector style at runtime. To do so, first add a button component with the content edit connector. Let the event handler name be edit connector. Let me define the edit connector method. Use the diagram object. Access the connector collection's first index value and set the style property with a new object that contains the property stroke color with the value black and the stroke width of 1. Click the edit connector button and you can see the first connector with the color black and width of 1. Let's see how to change the connector decorators. Notice that the source decorator shape is set to none and the target decorator is set to arrow by default. You can customize the source and target decorators. To do so, in the connector collection, add the source decorator property for the first connector and set the shape property to diamond. You can set 10 more shape types such as square, circle, and many others. Define the style property with the fill color orange. Do the same for the target decorator property. Now you can see the first connector source and target decorators with a diamond shape and orange fill. Next, I'll show you how to remove a connector from the diagram. In the division tag, add a button with the text Remove Connector and set the onClick event handler name. Define the remove connector method. Within it, use the diagram object and call the remove method by passing the connector collection's zeroth index. Click the remove connector button. The first connector is removed from the diagram canvas. That's how easy it is to create connectors and customize them in the Synfusion React diagram component.
You can download the example used in this video from the GitHub link in the description below. I've also included a link where you can check if you're eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key for our React components. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.